Hello and welcome to I Will Break Your Game, the penultimate episode in the Talos campaign. Today we're dealing with levels C5 and C6, which means that after this we've only got one level left to go. We're going to begin by stacking these boxes to take the uh, jammer away from the mine safely. And then we're going to run back to the start of the level with the jammer and with both cubes. It's not necessary to jam the mine, but why not? It does make things a little bit easier. And we're going to stack the cubes in this corner here. What this will allow us to do is to jump onto the stack of two cubes from the rubble just by them, and then we can get onto the wall. And we're going to take the jammer with us as well. So we're actually not going to break the puzzle that we're currently in just yet. We're going to go and use this to break another puzzle. So take a jammer out with you, and also take a box out with you as well. You should be able to grab the one from the top of your stack of two cubes. The next thing we're going to do is head over to these columns here. So jump to the first raised column. and then jump to the next column. It's a slightly precise jump, but it's not too bad. You can put down the cube now, don't worry, it will push you off, that's not really avoidable. Now we're gonna jump back onto the columns, but from the other side of the row of columns, we're gonna jump off this tree stump to a, a sticking out brick about halfway up. When you land on there, you can get onto the top of the column, and then jump across and land on the cube. Now from here, we're gonna jam a fizzler that you can just see over the top of a wall there. The idea is that the jammer is going to fall down, hopefully knock the cube off the column that we're stood on, and have the jammer remain at the top of the column. My first attempt there didn't work, that might happen a few times, but hopefully when you get it right, it should do something like that, and you should be left with the jammer balanced on the top of the column. Now nice and easily you can just run into this puzzle, take the cube, put it on the button, and that's it. You can just run all the way to the end, we've just jammed the fizzler that was in front of the sigil. The next puzzle is also nice and simple. Take the cube, and we're going to come to this tree here. If you put the box just by the tree, then you should be able to get a jump prompt onto this wall. Uh, I actually couldn't find it here, so just if you can't get it, move the box around until you can see it. Try and get the box on fairly raised ground, and then you should be able to get a jump prompt over to this wall. Uh, once you do that, the sigil chamber is just next to us here. You can just jump straight in the puzzle, and there it is. Um, this ladder here will let you get out without having to reset. So for the third puzzle, we are going to take the cube and we are going to take it over to the wall here and we're going to put the jammer on top of it. The idea is that we're going to be stood over it on top of the wall of a puzzle so we can bring a jammer into the next puzzle. So take the jammer with you. Um, firstly, we're going to use it to jam this fizzler here and get two boxes out. And then we're going to go and take the jammer and put it on the box that we had by the wall. Head back into the puzzle. Take both cubes and then stack them on the, the stair banister here. Then you can go up a level and jump onto the stack. And then from here you should be able to jump onto the wall. Now head down onto the slightly lower part of the wall, you should be able to grab the jammer fairly easily, and then we can just use this to retrieve the sigil pretty much straight away. And now finally to head back to the last puzzle that we entered at the start of the game but never actually broke. We're going to do it with a different method. So again we're going to begin by taking the jammer in the safe way of putting a stack of cubes next to it and grabbing it from above. Then jam the fizzler into the main part of the level and bring both boxes through with you. Head over to this corner over here and put the boxes on some lower ground by the, the hill just to my left there. Once you've stacked the cubes, get yourself onto the hill just by them, you should get a jump prompt, and then from there you can get onto the wall. Run along the walls and nice and easily you can grab the sigil. So C5 all in all is a pretty simple one to be able to break. So now we're in the second to last puzzle in the, uh, in, the, in the campaign. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. That is, enter a puzzle and do some things in it without actually breaking it. So come around here and grab the jammer. And now we're going to balance the jammer on this kind of grave sarcophagus thing there. That might take a few attempts, but you just kind of want to jump onto the corner and leave the jammer there before you get pushed off yourself. But it's a bit of architecture that will try and push you off, so you've got to do it quickly. Then we're going to head into this puzzle and start it as normal. Um, put the splitter on the button and open the fizzler and then jam the fizzler from the other side. 
Then you're going to open this fizzler with the splitter and the blue laser. Run through, grab the next splitter and open the next fizzler with the blue laser. And now we can get to the cube. The cube we're going to bring through with us all the way back to the start of the puzzle. And we're going to use it to get on top of the walls. We also need one other item. This isn't, again, this isn't necessary, but it, I do think it makes it easier. Um, what we're going to do is try and make the, the cube land at an angle. And if we put the, the splitter in the way, then it means that the, the cube doesn't just roll off completely. It actually gets stopped at an angle. So make sure that the cube is angled fairly well, but not so much that you can't actually jump on it. And then you should be able to get a jump prompt over to this wall here. Now head along to where we left the jammer. Uh, in the previous puzzle. From here you should be able to grab it. Uh, and then we're going to take this back through with us to the other puzzle. So now we have two jammers um, which allows us to pretty much break the whole thing because all you have to do is run through every fizzler, take one jammer with you, jam it from the other side, go and grab the other fizzler, jam the next one, so on and so forth. So you can essentially break an, an infinitely long level of of fizzlers like this. Once we're through to the last chamber, we're going to jam the fizzler there, and then once we're inside, jam the mine, and then take the final fizzler, uh, jammer, jam the final fizzler, and grab the sigil. So now we're going to start by doing the same thing, jump on the angled cube, and head over into this level. And this time we're going to run along the walls. Make sure you jump this arc here, because that is more architecture that will try and push you off. And also don't fall off to the left there, because that ground isn't solid. You'll just fall through the map. Uh, run along these walls. You can get along this fizzler. Um, none of the turrets, I think, pose a threat at all. I don't think from the walls any of them can actually shoot you. Watch this fence, uh, or door, I think it's a door, but you won't be able to jump back up from there, it's too low. And then you can get into the sigil chamber and grab the sigil. Next, we're going to begin the same way, but this time a gate's open because we've completed the puzzle. So. Um, we're going to start by getting the cube uh, in the same way as last time, so open these fizzlers with the blue laser um, and then bring the cube through the fence that opened to let you out of the sigil chamber when you broke this puzzle. So turn around and grab the, the jammer. From here we're going to take the cube through to this raised part of the ground here. Put the cube on the hill if you can and then you should be able to get a jump prompt to that part of the wall and then you can get on top and run along here. And then from here, uh, there's a Minecraft sword down there, from here you can make a jump over into this sigil chamber and that is C6 complete. Thank you very much for watching this episode of I Will Break Your Game. I will see you next time for the finale.